De Ashanti koning Otomfuwo Osei Tutu II heeft gisteren een publieke lezing verzorgd met als titel The Role of a Traditional Paramount King in a contem Contemporary Modern Nation State. De lezing is georganiseerd door de Anton de Kom Universiteit in samenwerking met de Surinaamse regering. De openingstoespraak is gedaan door Carol N. Bobson, vertegenwoordiger van de faculteit der Humaniora. Bobson gaf aan dat er verschillende vergelijkingen zijn tussen de Ashanti-taal en het Sranang. Dit komt omdat tijdens de slavernij mensen als slaven vanuit Afrika naar het Caribisch gebied zijn gebracht, dus ook naar Suriname. First and foremost, mention should be made of remnants of the Shi or Ashanti language. Live on Sranang Tongo. The day names in Sranang Tongo have been derived of Shi, for example, children born or Sunday named Kwasi and Kwasiba. Another example of linguistic remnant of Shi lies in the word Gongote, Shi Konkote. And the fruit obe, which named abe and she. The dish we call tom tom reminds of, of African e fufu, and asogri is also known in Ghana where it calls osiam. As for folklore, we in the Caribbean share animal proverbs in with Africans. The proverb of the pig remarked to its mother about the long mouth is shared all over the Caribbean and probably its original in Ghana. But certainly the most popular and well-known folkloristic remnant is the Anansi story. Your Majesty, ladies and gentlemen, the Ashantis brought here in Bondis may lost their home language completely, but slavery and colonialism had not been able to strip them of their culture. De vorst gaf aan dat de lezing ons een terugblik geeft op Afrika's pre- en postkoloniale perioden. In de pre-koloniale tijd van Afrika waren er twee typen gemeenschappen die heersten. De gecentraliseerde en de niet geciviliseerde samenlevingen. De centralized society denotes a state that had a recognized central authority who owed allegiance to the government. Political authority resided with a centralized authority who could be a king, chief, a monarch, for example, the Zulu in South Africa, Dahomey in present-day Benin, Oyo in Nigeria, Uganda in Uganda, and my own Asante in Ghana. So, the acephalous societies, sometimes pejoratively called stateless societies, have no centralized political authority. Examples of the latter are the Chief and Igbo in Nigeria, the Maasai in Tanzania and Kenya, and the Talensi and Kokomba in Ghana. So, it is misleading for anyone to contend or assume that traditional African leadership was never without control or accountability. So, these societies were democratic in nature, there were checks and balances, while the king appeared very powerful generally from outside. He was nonetheless subject to very strict control, so, not only by means of taboos, but, but from institutions and personalities of very high moral authority, authorities and integrity, whose main preoccupation was protecting and safeguarding the kingdom. Aldus Otomfuwo Osei Tutu de Tweede, de Ashanti koning van Ghana, heeft gisteren een lezing verzorgd in het IGSR gebouw op het universiteitscomplex. De lezing was getiteld The Role of a Traditional Paramount King in a Contemporary Modern Nation State.